Welcome to the next episode of our mini-series. Today, we have prepared another dose of interesting facts for you that we hope will surprise you. However, to make this issue clear, we have a small proposal for you. Seven interesting facts will appear in the episode. After watching the video, please write in the comment how many of these interesting facts you knew. For example, if you know three curiosities, write three out of seven, and add the numbers of the curiosities that turned out to be completely unknown to you. Meanwhile, the first curiosity in our list comes from GTA San Andreas. In San Andreas, for the first time, we are dealing with a mechanic that allows our main character to have a partner. Of course, we cannot forget to mention that such an idea was already in the minds of the creators during GTA Vice City development, but we will tell you more about that in another episode. Either way, if you have more than one girlfriend in the game, then it might turn out that your sweet secret might be revealed soon. The developers came up with a scenario where one of our girls can spot us at a meeting with another woman. In addition, it must be admitted that it is a very refined detail, especially when it comes to realism. Of course, statistically it is not that easy, so you really have to bother with dates in the game to get this effect. I've had a great time, but I've got to get back home. you date someone so ugly? Look what the pusher dragged in. Moving on, we go to GTA 3, where there is a curiosity related to the first mission in the game. We are talking about a situation when we are after all cutscenes of the Give Me Liberty mission and we have to get into Kuruma, which, by the way, has a unique color in this mission. Anyway, after we enter the vehicle, two police cars will appear on the horizon, going to the Callahan Bridge. There is nothing unusual here, except that we can destroy these police cars without the risk of suddenly being chased by the police. From 4.10, when we have control over the character, if we provoke the police, a star will appear, but it will blink and a moment later disappear. However, this effect will not last forever. Everything will return to normal after about two minutes of gameplay. Also, do not get too used to the fact that the crimes committed by you in the game do not arouse any interest among law enforcement agencies, because it is only for some time. Continuing the topic of the police, it's time to go to GTA 4, where, in a moment, we will find out what the next curiosity is about. Have you ever used the subway in Liberty City? We have, and definitely more than once. By the way, we really like the look of the station near Star Junction. It is probably one of the better looking stations in the game. Anyway, because we are not talking about it, it turns out that when we get four wanted stars, we will not use the underground anymore. It'll turn out that in such a situation, not a single one will arrive at the station. Not only that, if we try to outsmart the game and gain the stars when the subway is already at the station, the train will not leave. We can of course go inside the vehicle, but we will receive a message that the subway has been stopped by the police and cannot leave. In our opinion, this is a great and very realistic detail. End of the line, this train is now terminated. In the meantime, we are returning to the state of San Andreas to show you another super curiosity. Best of all, it is closely related to the storyline of the game, which in our opinion makes it truly unique. However, let's get to the point. As you well know, in this part of GTA, we can find a couple of clothing stores with a lot of clothes and accessories in them. Among these heaps of clothes, we can also see clothes from the brands belonging to Mad Dog and OG Loke. What is the alleged curiosity about? Well, when Mad Dog is at the top of the rap game, then his clothes are more expensive than OG Loke's ones. However, after OG Loke steals Dog's rhyme book and CJ gets rid of the manager, the market prices will change drastically. A similar situation will occur towards the end of the story when Mad Dog returns to the top. Then, his clothes will again be much more expensive than the OG Loke ones. GTA Liberty City Stories is a game with many values that can certainly arouse our curiosity. 
Unfortunately, like any other part of GTA, this installment also has some drawbacks. In relation to our episode on mistakes in the introduction, we are also dealing with errors here. There is a logical error that is noticeable after the first mission in the game. Namely, during the first cutscene in the game, Tony Cipriani talks on the phone booth. Everything looks cool and, at the beginning, it's hard to find anything strange in it. However, when we go to this place immediately after the mission, it turns out that there are no booths here. Have you noticed this little detail or perhaps it has escaped your attention? And now more interesting facts, but this time from GTA Vice City. In fact, they're not quite in Vice City, but in Marco's Bistro to be exact. These are mysterious photos that hang on the walls of the room. The first person we will tell you about is Carlo Gambino, who is shown in the picture above. To explain his story a bit, Carlo was an American mobster of Sicilian origin and one of the most powerful leaders in the history of the American Mafia. It was he who founded the Gambino family and became the so-called boss of bosses, taking over the presidency of the American Cosa Nostra. Another man Rockstar North has left behind at Marco's Bistro is Bruno Hauptmann. Bruno Hauptmann was a famous criminal from the beginning of the 19th century. He was considered the most hated person at that time. Bruno was sentenced to death for kidnapping American writers, and Spencer Morrow and Charles Lindbergh's son. Bruno kidnapped them and then murdered them in 1936. In the game itself, we can see a photo of the newspaper with an article about his death sentence and a photo of his execution, which looks different than it actually was shown in reality, by the way. There are, of course, other photos as well, but we chose these two because we think that they are the most interesting. Finally, we go to the sunny GTA Vice City stories, where this time we have two movies to discuss. As you know, in every part of the Grand Theft Auto series, we can find a whole lot of films that are a parody of various works of cinematography. It is no different in the case of GTA Vice City stories. The first such case is the movie called Los Santos Flop. Apart from the fact that the title refers to one of the cities in the state of San Andreas, it is also worth paying attention to the cover itself. It is deceptively similar to the movie Beverly Hills Cop. We think that in the comparison you can see on the screen at the moment, it is clear for you as well. Finally, the second film is called Full Moon. In this case, fans of Steven Spielberg may notice a striking resemblance to the movie called E.T. The Extraterrestrial. This is where we end today's episode. Try to remember about our proposal at the beginning of the video because we are waiting for your comments and we also encourage you to see other episodes of this series, as well as the last episode that is currently displayed on the screen. Take care!